Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. I'm back with film historian and writer Leonard Malton here to talk about the movie we just saw, Why Be Good. Uh, Leonard, I know uh, 45s. I know, uh, <laughs> that's not even a 70, that's a 79. <laughs> yes. What, what is that? This is an original Vitaphone soundtrack disc. Not for the film we just saw, but a sample Vitaphone disc. And this is how projectionists played this film in 1929. It, it sounds like a Rube Goldberg contraption, but in <laughs> fact, this disc would be synchronized with the projector showing the picture. And it, it played on a turntable that was motorized in synchronization with the projector. What a cumbersome idea. If you see Singing in the Rain, mm -hmm. where things go oh. out of sync, right, 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 right. that really happened. Of course. All it would take would be the needle jumping here, or you had a splice in the film to throw everything out of whack. But these Vitaphones just served their purpose. Or just a projectionist who didn't sync it right. Yeah. It could be off the whole movie. Yep. And even on the label, it's indicated how many uses it had, how many times it was played. Absolutely fascinating. Wow. And, and how many times has that one been played? Does this it? one has been played, it looks like eight times, maybe nine. There's a smudge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so after a certain number of playings, they, they would replace it and nope. Sure. Open it would get way. scratchy. This one looks a little beat up. It does. So I've, uh, you didn't want to see it after nine showings, I, I suspect. Got you. I got you. But you wanted to see the film because it's a good movie. It is a good movie. And uh, the soundtrack for Why Be Good has some serious jazz players. It does. When they finished shooting the movie in California, they shipped it back to New Jersey, to Camden, where the uh, Victor Talking Machine Company was, and they synchronized this soundtrack and hired some of the best jazz players in New York. People like Jimmy Dorsey, uh, Joe Venuti and Eddie Lang, Phil Napoleon. These are names that jazz buffs will know because these were all jazz stars to be. And they're on this soundtrack. So if the soundtrack sounds unusually good, not just jazzy and peppy, but really fun to listen to. It's because great players were playing great pop tunes of the day. And it does sound great. Mm -hmm. Leonard, thanks very much. Stick around. Leonard and I will be back to introduce a family drama from 1934 starring Richard Cromwell and Henrietta Crossman.